thank you for having me to speak to all of you today about the JAOA. I'm Ross Safan, I'm editor in chief, and I'm also um, Charlton professor at Harvard Medical School. And we're gonna talk about the journal being refocused and refreshed in 2021, almost a reimagining. Uh, but to understand where we're going, we have to look at the past. The JAOA has been published by the AOA since September 1901. The focus has always been the dissemination of scientific literature in an integrative, comprehensive way. We get 300 submissions a year that are evaluated by your peers and under the leadership of an editorial board, which really traditionally has been throughout the profession very representative. And we strive to support the AOA's efforts to promote and protect the profession, which I think is critical these days, by publishing cutting edge research that enriches osteopathic practice. Where are we going? Well, the world is changing, that's, that's unquestioned. And so we plan to change with it. In January of 2021, the JAOA will embark on its first major publishing partner with Degoida. And what we will do is convert to an online only open access model. The research will be freely and publicly available everywhere, worldwide. We will maintain monthly issue compilations as you're used to seeing in the print version, but publications will be posted as quickly as possible. This is the paradigm that many, many major journals are going to. And the AOA will underwrite all publishing processing charges in the bidding, so there'd be no cost to publish and publish worldwide. How else are we making changes? Well, we have traditionally peer reviewed and published articles more by article type than by topic. And the challenge that creates is in both the review of the journal by the so-called ranking agencies, as well as domain-based expertise. So we're again changing a bit. We're making it topic and domain-based. And by doing that, we'll make it easier for clinicians to find articles that are most relative to them. We'll strive for at least one article in each domain area in every issue and will be better and more thoroughly reviewed by, by linking to specialists in the fields, domain-based experts. So what are we actually doing? Well, we're changing instructions for authors to make it clearer. We're changing the kind of feedback they get. We're changing the timeline. We accept articles in a series of fields that you can see on your slide, but also in the following categories that really as broad areas represent much, but not all of practice. We will continue to solicit what has been our dominant area, which is OMT and medical education-based research. These are high volume areas that are very important to us. But we also want to be respectful that not everybody in this broad field are in those areas. And so what can we do to solicit articles that represent the entire domain of present day and future practice? If it's done by one of us, it should be in this journal. And we want to consider JAOA first for submissions to help advance practice. We will continue to welcome articles from researchers at every stage of practice, but my own personal bias is to assure that we have students and young faculty linked to mentorship from senior faculty, and how do we really develop that next generation of investigators and leaders for the field? And a focus on diversity and understanding that in our editorial board, in the articles we publish and review, 
and how we can transform and help make a difference. So um, we're committed to author service. We've already gotten um, the first decision time down, way down, uh, and we are making everything streamlined. The journal is already indexed in Medline and PubMed. It is in Web of Science and ReadCube, and we are importantly pursuing an impact factor and one with meaning, thus some of the redesign of the journal. We are looking for better and speedier and more accurate, meaningful peer review, a faster time to online publication, open access and increased visibility with potential enhanced citations, and promotional support. How do we make sure the world sees people's work via press release, podcast, and social media channels that are promoted via the AOA? So um, I'm the editor-in-chief. I'd be remiss if not I didn't recognize Melissa Schmidt, who is our director and our entire team that are working very fastidiously to make this transformation and deliver a better product to the entire profession. I thank you for your time.